Hi there, this is Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com with the Trade Idea of the Week. Reminder, none of this should be considered investment advice. Consult your financial professional. Uh, options have risk. If you lose money, it is your own dumb fault. Just a quick reminder, we've got this event coming up, Options for Long-Term Trading and, and Hedging. Uh, obviously, with the last couple of days, hedging could have been very valuable, and we do some. We are going to teach some really cool things along that, along with some really neat long-term hedging approaches, and also... Don't forget to read our blog. That's where all this stuff is located. So here we are. The market is down. Uh, it's been down as much as 22. Uh, it's been a really ugly, ugly couple of days. We went from kind of up to down 40, over 40 points in the market in what's amounted to about four hours open. Why? And Japan is a, a mess. The uh, if you look at uh, FXY, which is the Japanese currency, you know, the one thing we want is that thing, uh, or Japan doesn't want, is that thing rallying, and it is off to the races, and uh, markets don't like it very much, although it's currently, uh, you know, not on the highs, but that's just something to be aware of, is that markets aren't liking that very much, and you can see the volatility on FXY is going up. Now, at some point, that will back off. It's probably a little silly what's going on there, but uh, you know that's something to be aware of. Is that uh, you know that is a major driver of market, and you can see with that gold is having a big rally, and um, you know even even oil has been firm. Uh, I think oil starting to slow down as it should. Uh, it's been a little overdone. Uh, the shocking thing is, look at we had some great earnings. Amazon is up. Facebook has been up huge. Um, so what's getting us? Apple causing all kinds of problems. And Google being sued left and right by um, the EU is not helping either. So, And then, of course, uh, we had some miserable earnings out of Microsoft. So we've seen three of, two, three of the five big tech names that caused some problems. So even so... What I want to point out is the VIX isn't really doing that much. You're getting a strong move out of the VIX futures. So if I pull up VIX here, we're getting a strong move out of the VIX futures. You know, they're nicely 87 cents. Um, but uh, VIX itself not doing that much. And, and interestingly, there was a huge short squeeze on the VIX futures earlier in the day. And we saw that with the VIX really a lot lower. Um, you know, the VIX was only up about a buck. Uh, the VIX futures traded as high as 17.72. There was a vol short squeeze. So, you know, we're just coming off the European close right now. Do, do I think that we could see um, a kind of an afternoon rally? Maybe, maybe. But um, I think I look at this as an opportunity to maybe pop in on some inexpensive things or to, to look for opportunity, maybe volatility, is, uh, is giving us a chance to, to buy in something. And when I look at Facebook, all right, which just had a monumental set of earnings, and you now fill the gap. I mean, the gap's right here is at 117. That's its old high. All right, and uh, I think it's going to crack back higher. I mean, you can't have earnings that good. So unless the S&P, unless we truly believe there's going to be an extended sell-off in the S&P and things are going to get really ugly, um, with all this low, there's a real opportunity in Facebook. And there are some things I like in Facebook. So let's pull up the options on Facebook. And going out, take a look at all this volatility. It's really unilaterally low. Um, I like that May is, I mean, May is actually higher than July, and June appears to be cheap as well. The cheapest option on the board, though, if I look, right here, June 10. I'm going to look at the June 10s, and I'm going to find an upside call that I like. And it doesn't have to be that far upside. Look, what was the high in, in uh, you know, we saw Facebook over 120 not that long ago, and this has... 41 days to work. So I can buy these 120 calls for about $2.40, a little beefier than I would normally. Uh, but I, I think they're probably a buy. I like them. 
So I'm going to bid $2.40. I'm Phil. And, you know, my goal is to sell these at about $4. And if I can, I will be an extremely happy camper. Uh, that's my trade idea is that I think Facebook is going to go higher. And I think it's going to be a market leader, not a market uh, dragger. So uh, that's one I would get in. All right. Got questions? You can email me, marketoptionpit.com. You can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Uh, again, make sure you're reading our blog and, and checking everything that we're putting out regularly. All right, folks, have a great morning, great afternoon, and great rest of your day.